Okay, this is the M1 paper from June 2021. It's question number seven. As we can see quite clearly, this is a moments question. Uh, we're going to have a non-uniform beam here. Uh, give you time to read through the question. It's not all of it, it just goes down there as well. Uh, but basically, we've got a non-uniform beam. The mass of that's 60. Uh, its length 8A and all the lengths are as they are. Uh, what I need to do first of all then is to draw out a diagram and I draw out my own diagram simply because um, I'm going to have a lot of lengths at some stage on here that I'm going to need to put on. So it tells me that I have uh, a support here and a support here where this is A, this is C and that's a length A there. This is B, this is D, and that's a length 2A there. And then it tells me that uh, in the original parts, magnitude of the reaction at D is three times the reaction at C. So what I can do is if I decide to call C the reaction there R, then this one straight away can be written down as 3R. And then this is a non-uniform rod, so I've got my weight acting, and it tells me it's acting where there's a length X there from A to where the mass is. The whole length of the rod is 8A, so if necessary, this would be 5A in here. That's not gonna play any part to part A though. So um, I've got that situation and it says, um, can you find an expression for X in terms of A? So if I've got to find the length of X, I already know what my game plan is going to be here. What I'm going to do is resolve vertically first of all, and then actually looking at that diagram, straight away I'll, I'll be able to work out what R is. And then I'm going to take moments and simply because it's telling me that that's the length x and that's what I've got to work out. It absolutely makes sense then to take moments about a here because then I'm going to have 60g times x and I'll have r times something and 3r times something. I'm fine with those ones, but in terms of the algebra, it's going to be much easier if I actually take moments about a when I'm doing it. Right, let's actually crack on and do it then. So to explain to the examiner, that's you guys now know what I'm doing. Let's tell the examiner. So resolving vertically, I'm going to get that R plus 3R is equal to 60G. That's dead straightforward. And that's then going to give me R is equal to 15G. So that's quite helpful. And then taking moments. And I say you can take moments about anything. So I'm going to take moments about A. And if I take moments about A, I'm going to get that this one and this one will cancel out with the 60G, won't they? So if I'm doing that, that's going to give me R multiplied by A plus 3R multiplied by, well, let's say if this is all um, 8A there, then it's multiplied by 6A there is going to be equal to 60G multiplied by X. Well, that's pretty straightforward there then. I've got R is 15G, remember? So 15GA plus 45G times 6A is going to be equal to 60GX. Well, there's a G in everything there, so you can cancel all those Gs out if you want. Uh, but X just works out to be, rearrange it all, 19A over 4. So go back here and understand now that that's, whoops, that's going to be 19A over 4 when I'm doing the rest of the work. Okay, I'm not going to put that on my diagram though because that will confuse the examiner. Right, part B then says uh, a box of mass M is now placed at E where A, E is equal to 2A. So we're going to have a box put around about there somewhere. 
Uh, magnitude of the normal reaction between the C is now equal to D, so these are now going to become R and R here. Um, and it says by modelling the box as a particle, find the value of M. So realistically, it makes sense to me now, time-wise as well, to just draw out another diagram. It's not going to take me ages to do these diagrams, and hopefully, as you've seen from that first part, it's really important when I'm drawing these things out that I have nice, clear lengths and everything else measured on as we're doing it so I don't make any mistakes with my um, taking moments, uh, etc. So we've got that A, that length there was A. Uh, this was C. And now in this one here, we've got that that's R and that's going to be R there as well at D. This was still 2A here, and we've got a weight of mg acting down here where that total length is 2A, so that's A and A here. And then if I've got my 60G, now remember, all of that length there is 19A over 4, so if you do 19a over 4, take away 2a, that means that that length there works out to be 11a over 4. So as I said to you, really, really important, put my B on, really important that I get a nice clear diagram now, because hopefully this will all be fairly straightforward as I'm actually going through and trying to work this out now. So again, I'll follow pretty much the same process through. Resolve vertically first of all, and I'm going to get R and R is equal to MG and 60G combined. Let's do that. So we get uh, R plus R equals 60G plus MG. So in other words, 2R is equal to 60 plus MG. Leave that like that to start off with. And then take moments about A again. And if I take moments about A, as I'm doing this, I'm going to get, right, taking moments about A, this one and this one will both be anti-clockwise and the MG and the 60G will both be clockwise. So let's do that then. We're going to get R times A plus R times 6A is equal to MG times 2A and 60G times 19A over four. Right, okay, well, um, there's an A in everything, so the A's can all go. Uh, there's not a G in everything, so I'll need to G, leave the G in here. So on the left-hand side, I've got six R plus R there, I've got seven R. And on the right-hand side, I've got 2mg plus, multiply that all out, it comes to 285g. So now we've got these two equations, which I can just solve simultaneously. Okay, so if I get from number one, how much space have I got? Not a lot of space there. Um, from number one, I can get that R is equal to 60 plus M G all over 2. All I've done is just divide by 2 there. And I'm now going to sub that in. And I'm going to say 7R. So 7 lots of 60 plus M G all over 2 is equal to 2MG plus 285g. The g's can go and it's just a matter of rearranging all of this. Um, if we times 
uh, what's the thing to do? No, yeah, just um, take that two and multiply up there. I'm gonna get seven times 60, 420. Seven times M, seven M is equal to four M plus 570 there, easy. Okay, so, so uh, rearrange that, we get three M works out to be equal to 150. We get that M works out to be equal to 50. Right, lovely neat answer there, so absolutely no problem with that one. Hopefully that all makes sense.